Hello and welcome back to Boo Polo Channel. Today I am going to do a review of these Deutsch connectors that I bought on Amazon. I bought the plain uh, twin ones and I am going to show you how to fit them. They come with the pins, they come with the pins and the plugs, or they call them are male and female. And uh, you have to remember that the, that the female goes into the plug and the pin, uh, or the male goes into the bigger uh, uh, receptacle. We call these receptacle, and 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 I will show you in one moment. But I'm going to put the pins and the and the sockets onto some wires for you first, as an example, and then I will show you how to fit them to the Deutsch connectors. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to put the wedge in, how to take the wedge out, and remove them as well on both receptacle and plug. We strip the wire back approximately seven millimeters. It's what I normally do. Uh, uh, you, you can you can check yourself if you want to put the pin inside this first it, it might grip it and then you won't be able to get it out so then I push this in the whole way and tighten in like and then tighten in and then tighten in as tight as you can and then you can see where it made a huge indent here and here. Now maybe I should have, maybe I had it sticking out slightly too much because I cannot see my inspection hole, my inspection hole. So I had it sticking out slightly too much. For the next one we will adjust it slightly different. Then we just push this one in and squeeze. And yeah, we have gone down a bit further. I can see the inspection hole here and I can see the wire in there. So these go in together inside the Deutsch connector. Now what we'll do, I'll do the same for the, for the other two. So now I have done, uh, I have done uh, the four connectors, the two females and the two males. I have put the pins over on the side of the receptacle so that we get them the correct way around. If you're doing this regular, you won't need to do this, but if you're doing it for the first or second time, always put them, line them up, and you know that these two are going in like this. So what we do is, as we said, we're putting the pin, or the male, into the receptacles. So we just push it through the seal here like this. We hear a click. Now the rubber sometimes come out, don't worry about that, you can push that back in afterwards, that's the seal. And we will put the yellow one in this side. You will hear the click. You must listen for the click. If there... Pick up our wedge and we face it this way. And we push it in. You can use a, a pinky nose pliers if you like. And then you can use a flat screwdriver to just push it down. It clicks in place like that. Uh, not sure if you can see it in there. Uh, in order to take that out later on, I was going to do it later for you, you make yourself, uh, you buy yourself one of these tools like this, but I made this one myself, and you push this one in, and you, you just uh, pull it out like that, and there it is out. Uh, and then you can reuse your, uh, your, and then you can reuse it. That's the receptacle done. Uh, <laughs> And make sure that when you are doing them, that you have them lined up again like this, so that you put the yellow one on the correct side. So I'm putting, I'm putting the, the female in here, like this, and it's the same, it should click. You can pull this back over it if you like, and push it in later. Some people do that. and it only clicks in a little bit. In order to remove these ones, you put the, 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 a flat screwdriver in here like this, in on the back, and pull the little tab and it opens out like this. So it's slightly different. So these should be lined up in here on these, so we'll put the red one on now as well. And uh, we will push this one in as well, and it doesn't have to get as big a tug it goes into this place here, but it won't come out when you there. Uh, when it, it won't come out when you tug on it. So then we'll pull the seal, the water seal, up onto it, and you can use a flat screwdriver to push that in, or your nails. 
female done like this on the plug, then you get your orange wedge, and then we get our orange wedge and we push it in here and just seat it in like that. And then we have our receptacle done. This also holds the rubber from falling off when you're opening and closing at the weather seal on the joint. And make sure they're pushed in on both sides, and then we push this one in. It's like a little bit rubbery, and then you'll see this one here clicks up. And that's our joint done. That's our Deutsch connector done, our number 16 Deutsch connector. Perfect for wiring inside your car or on your boat or even on your light aircraft deep ones for anything that's 13 amps. So that's my review of the JR Ready Deutsch connectors. I'll put a link in the description below where I bought these. I bought them on Amazon. And thank you very, very much for watching. And if you like this video or any of our other videos, please subscribe.